So what we've started experimenting with is putting our SOPs into Notebook LM. And Notebook LM is one of Google's AI tools, which is now built into Workspace. So notebooklm.google.com. And what we've decided to try doing is putting all of our SOPs, you can see here there's some SOP masters here. What we've decided to try doing is putting all of our SOPs into Google Documents. And unfortunately, this is text only format, right? So a whole bunch of SOPs, so you can embed images, but it's mostly text only. You can't really do videos, right? There's lots of important stuff here, reviewing, improving videos, all these kind of things. Now, Notebook LM is like a private Gemini container in that you can add lots of sources and lots of information to it. And then it can retrieve information just from the sources that you add to it. So I can say, right, go and look at all of the SOP masters for each different area of the business. And then with Notebook LM, I can query this like I can query GPT or Gemini. So I can say, can you tell me the process for uploading videos to YouTube and how I can check that they've been approved properly before I do so? And let's just see what that does. Now, if you're wondering how I dictate into my machine, I use an app called Whisper Flow, which is an AI-based dictation app, and it is absolutely phenomenal. All right, so here we go. Now, this is reading, Notebook LM is reading my SOPs. It's referencing the SOPs, but it's generating a response from all of that information automatically. And I can just ask it any question I want. So imagine I'm a newbie. I've just joined the company. I need some help with something. It's going to read all of the information in the SOPs, and then it's going to collate all of that and give me a, a normal response. And it's not going to make stuff up or imagine things or pull in things from the internet unless I tell it to go and find sources on the internet. That's what the discover sources button is for. But I don't want that. I only want internal documents. It even tells me where I reference. So you've got to add B-rolls for your videos. Where is that from? Oh, okay. That's from this exact spot in this exact SOP. And this is looking pretty cool. This is looking like the most obvious place for us to go to next with our SOPs. It's not quite as good as like watching a video of someone demoing how to create an expense report in your online accounting system, but it's still pretty impressive. It's getting there. And you can see here, there's like automatic documents that you can create like an FAQ. I can click that and it's going to just automatically generate a bunch of FAQs. This is effectively designed as a study tool, but what it does here is here we go. All right. So it's pulled in from some leadership stuff five stages of delegation. Okay. And then annual strategic planning process, different bank accounts used by the treasury team. Yeah, there you go. Now this is, I don't know, maybe we should have one notebook per team. This is pulling stuff from like right across the company. So there's a lot in here. Getting it down to the top eight bullets is probably a little bit broad, but Notebook LM has some like groovy features. Like you can have a audio overview, it's called where it generates a virtual podcast of your content, which you can sit there and listen to, which is wild. But for people who are better at learning through audio, but you can listen to your SOPs as a podcast if you want. So maybe that's good for training. Maybe your newbies who are just starting their first week can like, you can lie down in a dark room with headphones on and a blindfold and listen to your SOPs to get it into your subconscious. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.